Thank you for coming in to see me today, Kevin. My name is Mrs. Johnson. I'm the school counselor. I heard there was an issue with you at lunch today. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, I punched some kid. Do you know what, why you did that? I felt like it. Because what? He was annoying. He was ugly. Okay. So, do you feel like you should be given any kind of a consequence for that? Tell me what happened. Tell me why. Uh, consequence? Uh, no. Tell me more about what happened in the lunchroom. Well, uh, he started... He uh, was just sitting there and I got mad and I picked him up and I punched him and said, just keep on punching him. He pushed me, I punched him back. And he was lying on the ground with a busted nose, bloody face, busted lip, which, which was very awesome. I was going to say, you seem a little proud about this. I am. Uh-huh. If we had to call your parents and talk to them about this, what would they say? They would probably ground me and probably put me in to have decide to put me in juvie or the psych ward or one of the two. What sets you off? Everything. I uh, like beating up people. It ain't going to stop. Mm-hmm. Okay. All right. Does that happen at home, too? Yeah. I beat up my sister. What kind of consequence do you feel like you should get or anyone should get for bullying? None. None? Bullying is fun. Okay. What would make you stop doing this? Nothing. Can I leave now? You know, I will write you a pass, and you can go back to class. Thank you. Chris, I'm really glad to see that you're back at school. Welcome back. Thank you. How are you feeling? Terrible. I can imagine. I'd like a little information on what's been going on with you. What happened? I've been in a hospital for three weeks now. Yeah. I got beat up. By one person? What yeah. happened? Uh, Kevin. Okay. He beat me up. Okay, uh-huh. okay. Um, how are you feeling physically? Your body? Feel pretty terrible. Yeah. What was what it, what was it like when you walked back into the school this morning? How Everyone you... stared at me like I was a wimp. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What about like your emotion, like your feelings? Like were you nervous? Were you okay? Were you glad to be back? I was uh, really nervous and. Mm-hmm. Did you see your, have you seen any of your friends? Are they glad you're back? They won't talk to me anymore. Oh, no. Are you worried this is going to happen again? Yeah, but I know how to defend myself now. Do you feel safe here at school? No. Okay. Is there any teacher or anybody that you can talk to if you're having some trouble? No. Okay. Well, maybe that's something you and I can work on. Yeah. So you might be feeling a little lonely? Yeah. Okay. I missed a lot of schoolwork, and I don't even know what the teacher's talking about anymore. Okay. So you're just getting overwhelmed and kind of worried at all sorts of levels. I might have to repeat uh, ninth grade because of him. I hope Kevin goes to juvie. Mm-hmm. Jack, I'm glad to see you again this week. How are you? I don't care. The cops had to burn me. Well, yes, I understand you've had some issues with your probation. What happened? I keep on breaking the laws. And what are the, what is that around? Is that the continuing bullying situation? Yeah. So you're continuing to take money from kids? Yeah. How are you getting money from those kids? Beating them up. Okay. So what is your probation officer saying about all of this? He wants to put me in jail. How do you feel about that? I don't care. If, I wonder if, if you are in jail, if you'll feel a little bit like um, you might be the target of a bully. Probably. What do you think about that? I have to fend for myself. How are things going at home? Not so good. So, have you been bullied recently at school? Yeah, sure. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. What do you think your, your, um, the people you steal money for, how do you think they feel? Upset. I'm just trying to get money. What do you need money for? Food. For your family? Yeah. Samuel, hi. How are you doing today? Good. Good. I heard you had an incident with another kid at school the other day. Can you tell me what happened? Yeah, he came up, pushed me down, and took my money. So, so, takes your money... Does he scare you? Yeah. Tell me, 
tell me what's happening with you. Who is the other child? Um, Jack. Is there a reason that you're bringing so much money to school? Yeah, for lunch. Okay. I'm going to buy some, my friends some lunch. Okay, so it's a way for you to make some friends and keep some friends? Okay. Why do you feel like you need to give your money to him? I don't know. Do you feel like you're getting enough support if your parents are gone? Not really. Okay. Do you have other friends that you go to and, or hang out with any other families after school? No. What would you think about if we continued to meet maybe like once or twice a week? That sounds fun. Is that sound all right? Okay. Dennis, thanks for coming in to see me today. I understand you had a situation between 7th and 8th period. I wouldn't call it a situation. I was just about to go into my 8th period class, the last class period of my day, and throughout the entire day I had been hearing crap being talked about me, so I had finally just gotten ticked off enough to where I didn't care what I did. I may be on probation, but go big or go home. So I heard him talking about me on the stairs, and so I smashed his face into the railing, knocked him unconscious and then kept beating his head into the stairway, which is a concrete stairway, until he was a bloody pulp. I'm one of the most feared bullies in the entire school. And you sound very proud of that. I am. Okay. It is a title that I have worked for. So if I wanted to ask you what you were willing to do to change this behavior, you would say? Nothing. Okay. I worked for something, might as well keep it. Okay. How's it going at home? I don't really care. It doesn't matter to me. All I do at home is sit in my room, okay. play video games, talk shit about people online. So you really in that way as well? Bully in any way possible. Okay. Do you have friends? I'm one of the most popular kids in school because everybody fears me, which is all right. So you're popular because of fear? Yes. Do you ever get sad? No. Not at all. Fear is power. Fear is control. Control is power as well. So. Fabian, hi. My name is Miss Johnson, and I am the counselor here at their school. Well, it's nice to meet you, Miss Johnson. It is nice to meet you as well. I just saw you are recently moving moved to our, our new school. Yes. How long have you been here? Two days, I would think. You came to my attention because you were sitting alone in the lunchroom, and I was wondering if you liked to sit alone or if you were feeling like you... Nobody could... likes me. Nobody likes you? Nobody at all. Can you tell me more about that? Mm, I'm bullied a lot. A lot. Is that... I get called a lot of different names. For example, for example, Babian. I mean, it doesn't really matter to me. I just try to be the nicest person I can. Okay. Does it feel like if you get called in to speak with me, if that's the beginning of help to you? To be honest, it can be both used in both a bullying's way and helpful way because it can, you can help me with my situation, but then it could also worsen the situation if it gets out that I am seeing a counselor. That is exactly correct, and so we can set up ways where it's very private that, that well, they would never small, know. This is a small school, so that's going to be very extremely hard. Maybe you could come up with a way that they can make hard. that happen. How are things going at home? Okay. Do you do you have uh, brothers or sisters? No, I'm an only child. Do you get lonely? Not really. Okay. It seems like you're a very brave person to have just come to a new school. And you've been to several? Did you say you've been to several schools? I'd have to count to get a specific number. So it must be hard to be new all the time. I've gotten used to it. Mm. While you're here, I'd Usually like... I don't unpack, like, half of my boxes, so... Mm -hmm. Do you work? Do your parents move a lot around a lot for work, or...? No. They usually move around for my sake. Because of bullying? Yes. Boy, I'm really sorry that you have been through that. I would like to do whatever we can do to help you, and help you feel like you're a member of the school because nobody deserves to be called names. 